What's up, everybody? I'm considering starting a new series called Buy This, Not That. Uh, and it was sparked from a deal I saw on, or better yet, a conversation I had on slick deals today. So this guy posts this deal. It's not a deal. Uh, and here's what it is. It's similar to what was going on yesterday. Like yesterday, um, I don't know if I showed it in the video, but you had these two 6.0 HO batteries, this dual charger, that's two ninety nine dollars alone. All right. Uh, and yeah, it's a special buy for today. No, no, no. For this week. Yeah, it ends in five days. And you get this. Well, yesterday you got the Milwaukee pack out vacuum and it was two ninety nine. So this, you get this impact wrench, not a driver, impact wrench for two sixty nine. But let's just take a quick look at the specs, okay? It's an M18 and it does up to 250 foot pounds of nut busting torque, which is nothing. It's garbage, okay? For an M18 fuel, it's compact, but you know, the stubby does. And let's 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 go look this up. Okay, so first of all, these specs are wrong. We just saw that this was 250, so ignore this. This is 250. This is the M12 stubby. This is the you know impact wrench, the M18 that we're looking at right now and it's also 250 and this right here is the m12 right angle impact wrench and it does it does 220 not 200 so these specs down here wrong but i just want them up here so you can look at them so this stubby right here then look at the prices you know individually so the stubby is 179 i have this uh it's pretty good but i i i, I don't grab it like i other stuff just works better for me i use my big boy 2767. So I use this all the time. I just always grab this. This is 1400 foot pounds of nut buzz torque. This is what it's heavy, yeah, but most of the time when I'm using the little impacts or when I'm using my impact wrenches, they fit. This fits. This is this looks huge, but it's actually not big for its power. So this fits in most places. Uh even when I'm trying to do like caliper bolts and and that hasn't been one place this hasn't really fit except for in between wheel wells and I'm trying to get fender liners off and I usually use my little ratchet for that. So I don't generally grab this that much unless it's something super, super tight and mainly when I'm doing something with the Volkswagen Fed and then I might need the stubby for something. But other than that, I don't generally use this. Now, I do feel like you need three to be complete. I feel like you need a small one which this right angle impact wrench again does 220 foot pounds these both do 250 that's not a huge difference there and this is only two inches long i mean two two inches deep the head on this this is only from here from here to here it's only like 2.2 inches and we can scroll down and, and take a look at that but i also just measured myself yeah, it's 2.2 inches, whereas this stubby, well, this is going to be, a, this is about five inches, and the stubby itself, the stubby is slightly over four inches. I have it right here on my table right now. So the stubby is slightly over four inches. So this M18, I'm just talking, I'm just trying to illustrate how much nonsense this makes. So this M18 is bigger than the stubby. It produces the same amount of power and it has this big M18 battery block, whereas the stubby and you can't, I don't think the stubby has pictures of it with the battery in it, a 2.0 battery in it, but this is just going to go straight down. Okay. Just imagine it's just filling out right there. This is way more compact than that M18 and it does the same amount. It has the same amount of power. Now to me, again, this right angle impact wrench, I'm telling you, it's literally half the size. I just told you it's 2.2 and the uh, stubby is a little over four inches. This is half the size of that. This is fitting everywhere. Now, as far as the way they feel in your hand, this is very top heavy. All the weight is up here. Even if you put a four amp hour battery on here, it doesn't balance it out that much. But this is a tool that you generally lift straight up like it. Let me see if I could demonstrate with with images here. All right. So they're underneath. That's different. All right. So right here, if you're lifting it straight up, 
it's completely balanced. It's perfectly balanced and you don't feel any weight at all. It's actually more comfortable than holding stubby. If you got to hold it on its side, then yeah, it gets a little heavy, but you can't use your other hand like this guy's doing to balance that out. And of course, if something is on the ground or below you, then you just would use it like a right angle drill and you don't feel anything either that way. But this is comfortable uh, unless you hold it like at two o'clock or 11 o'clock or something like that, then it gets a little top heavy. The stubby is also very comfortable, but this is going to be way more compact. That's all I'm saying. This is going to get into more places. They have the same four mode drive speeds, the one, two, three, and the auto, uh, even on the stubby, it has that. So why on earth would anyone buy this, right? Let's go to this conversation. I said, this thing is super weak. 250 foot pounds of loosening torque on an impact wrench is nothing. You can do lug nuts, but good luck with stuff like caliper bolts and almost anything suspension related. And I think I spelled caliper wrong. And this guy who has a lot of accolades, which is something to pay attention to. He says, you probably shouldn't be trying to use a little compact impact wrench for jobs more suited to a mid torque. That being said, this thing is surprisingly powerful for its size. Okay, first of all, I want to hear these things he's talking about because, again, I have never seen a mid-torque that will remove caliper bolts or hubs or anything suspension-related. I mean, it might be something suspension-related, but a mid-torque is not going to do it all. It's just not. There's a reason this thing exists because it's the mid-torque is not going to be able to handle it. And as I said, there are some things. There was only one. There were two things that I struggled with with this. So. This struggle to remove the hubs off my phaeton and I had to heat it up and I finally, and it came off like butter, but my suspension on my LS430, I was able to remove the driver's side airbag because, you know, I have uh, air suspension. I was able to get that one, but I could not get the passenger side. This couldn't break it loose. I could have heated it up, but I just left it alone because it was too close to the bag and all of that. It wasn't broke, so I just left it alone. You know, air suspension, they'll level out. And I'll only need to replace one. But I couldn't do it. <laughs> this couldn't do it. He's talking about a mid-torque. So I said, at first I said, I see. And sir, what exactly should we be using for? Like, oh, you shouldn't be using it for that. So what will we use this little compact thing for then? Explain to me. Because it can't get into real tight places like the right angle can. Then I just said, because I couldn't I couldn't hold it anymore. It was only it been five minutes. I couldn't hold it. I said, and surprisingly powerful for its size, you say. <clears throat> Can you find very many impact wrenches that do less than 250 foot pounds? I mean, I certainly have in the past with that little Milwaukee tire inflator kit. This thing right here does what? Like a 120 foot pounds? Something terrible. So yeah, it does 1,200 inch pounds, which translates into 99, or let's just round up 100 foot pounds. Okay, so yes, we can find some things that are worse than that, but... Who, why did they make that? I don't know what they're doing with that. It, lug nuts are more than that, generally, uh, especially when you take it to a shop and they over tighten them. Um, so anyway, I said, and at the very least, skip this and get the stubby. You won't have to deal with the large battery in your way, which makes sense. That M18 doesn't make sense. That M18 was created. This was created for people who have no M12 tools. They just all in on M18. And yes, then this makes sense. Unless you can find the deal on the stubby that comes with the battery. But if that's the case, yes, this makes sense that you would buy that over the stubby. Or even better, get the right angle impact. That does 220, and for the way that thing is designed and only being two inches in depth, that is surprisingly powerful for its size. Yes, this bad boy right here is surprisingly powerful for its size. Now, if you line them up, all right, we look at them, we look at the reviews, for, I mean, complete five stars. Almost completely five stars on this one. And you see it's not quite five stars. And when we go and we look at the comments about it, we see people that are basically saying it doesn't produce. Like right here, it says 10 out of 10, highly recommend it more than... Okay, uh, what happened there? Okay, yeah, no has 120 pounds. Uh, obviously, English is not this person's first language, but we can see from the pictures this person really uses this tool. This is how my ratchet looks <laughs> it's brown and black but uh but yeah they they use it now i wanted to show you guys a clip from shop tool reviews he does a really really good review 
showing us exactly how this thing performs. I want to play it for you real quick. We've got our trusty torque wrench here. It's on 250. Let's take this down to 220. We are now set at 220 foot pounds. Two twenty six, two twenty three, two twenty nine, and two twenty point four. So we got them off under two thirty, but at least two twenty. So we've got them torqued to two hundred twenty foot pounds. Now we'll put our impact on three and in reverse, set our directional lever. Here we go. Okay, that took about six seconds of hitting before it broke that free, but it did break it free. Count this time. Yep, right at about six seconds, six and a half seconds. There's a the third one. Did that one too. All right, so as you can see, the thing can do it. All right, it can totally perform. If you want to see the rest of this video, see the whole thing in its entirety, it's 23 minutes. He breaks down the difference between this and the other Milwaukee ratchets. It's a very good video. I, I recommend you watch it. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below. So anyway, it's going back to this guy. I also said, I know you have a ton of slick deals accolades under your name, but it doesn't sound like you work on cars or own any of these tools at all. And because of your slick deals reputation, there will be many people who listen to you and screw themselves into buying something they don't need. And that is what I don't like. I don't know why people comment on things they don't know anything about. I guess, you know, these numbers make them feel good. Uh, and I get that it strokes their ego, but you hurt people when you do that. All right. I don't recommend, like I said, this is for people that are only in the M18 lineup. They don't have any M12 batteries. So yeah, all right, if that's it, you don't want to drop down to the M12 line, which I mean, I would recommend because they're good tools and they're a lot more compact and they could produce the same numbers. Uh, I would recommend you do it, especially if you own a shop, you know, you can write that off. But if that's you, you still refuse, then this is, this is the tool for you. But other than that, the rest of us, I'm telling you, I would recommend, this is what I have. I would have this right angle impact wrench. Then I would recommend not a stubby because it's redundant now. Then after that, I would recommend getting the mid torque. The mid torques are very compact for their size and they also produce really, really good numbers. Now me personally, I don't own a Milwaukee mid torque. Uh, mine is Metabo HPT. Now I do own the Milwaukee 2767 high torque, 1400 foot pounds of loosening, but I also own the Metabo HPT high torque and I own the Metabo HPT mid torque that produces slightly better numbers than the Milwaukee. And of course it has a better warranty and it's cheaper and all of that good stuff. That's why I got that uh, for $199 from Tool Barn. You can get that, uh, a four amp hour battery and you know a charger and it could be run off AC and battery. You guys know the spiel. But if you heavy in a Milwaukee and you like, nah, dude, I'm doing Milwaukee, then get the mid torque. Get this right here. It does 600 foot pounds of loosening, which is gonna handle most things on cars unless you're doing something, like I said, anything suspension related, you got to take off the calipers, you, the, the, those caliper bolts. Now nah, you need something bigger. And then the last thing I recommend, I recommend this. So you need those three. This big one right here, you need a mid torque and get a right angle impact that'll cover you for everything. You should need nothing else. All right. So anyway, that's this video. Buy this, buy that. Buy these M12 things and this one M18 fuel um, and this M18 mid torque. 
But get this M12 right angle ratchet right here. You have those three, and you're going to be a very, very happy camper. Don't get this. See you guys next time.